Good morning, friends. As you can see, I am not in cold, snowy Minnesota. I am actually in Arizona, in the middle of the desert. I'm down here visiting my parents for four or five days, and while I'm here, I'm gonna go on probably three or four really long day hikes. I am in Quartzsite, Arizona, which is a town of about 2,400 people right along Interstate 10, which is the major highway that runs between Phoenix and Los Angeles. Quartzsite is a town of about 2,400 people, but it is known for, in the winter, it blossoms up to about 1.5 million people visit Quartzsite. And they have these huge rock swap, swap meets where, you know, people who collect these things right here uh, come and show them off and swap and they have all these vendors all over the place selling a lot of crap but today I am just going down a wash a wash is an area where when it does rain in the desert it doesn't soak into the ground it mainly goes along the surface all of that water comes into here and this thing is probably I don't know, three, 400 feet wide. And when there's a big storm, big rain event, this thing can get like 10, 12 feet deep and just raging. So walking up the wash, kind of fun for me to just kind of be out in the middle of the desert. You can see over here, there's some mountains way over there. That's where I'm going tomorrow gonna be uh, hiking up to the top of a couple mountains it's supposed to be just an awesome look look out from up there so enough babbling let's get walking Sun's out, had to shed a couple layers. It's probably about 55 degrees. Plan to go up the wash here. Probably went three miles up. Decided I was gonna go out of the wash, just into the desert here. Might be a little bit more interesting and I'm walking towards the mountains here, which early in the morning, that sun on the mountains is spectacular. And if I'm looking at my map right, I should be coming right up through the very exclusive Quartzsite Country Club. Hello friends, this is not the Masters in Augusta, Georgia, but rather the exclusive Quartzsite Country Club. Today we're going to take a look at hole number one. We're on the tee box right now. It is a beautiful 96 yard par two. Let's take a look. Good morning, friends. Back out here in Arizona, I am going up to Signal Peak. Signal Peak is within the Kofa Wilderness Area. Kofa, I am told, stands for King of Arizona. And uh, on all trails, this was a 
difficult rated trail, which I was kind of looking forward to instead of walking on an ATV trail the whole time. But uh, the Kofa, or I shouldn't say Kofa, the Signal Peak Trail is uh, a 4.3 mile out and back. However, the trail to get, the road to get to it, it's about 20 miles south of Quartzsite. And then there's this forestry road that goes out. And, you know, I read the comments and they say you need a high profile vehicle and four wheel drive. And well, I got about halfway into this trail road before I had to stop with my borrowed SUV because it's just too rough. So I've got probably three miles before I get to that signal peak trail. So I'm walking that road right now and it's pretty rough. Glad I stopped. But probably got about a half hour till sunrise here. It's a beautiful morning out. You probably can't see that. It's a beautiful morning. Let's get moving. I came to Skull Rock. It's pretty obvious why they call it Skull Rock here. See the two eyes little cave here on the bottom so it's it's probably about 50 degrees beautiful weather out here nice kind of blue orange tint in the sky over there so I've got about three quarters of a mile until I get to the actual track <laughs> finally made it to the trail. I walked past it, looked on my Gaia GPS, and I actually had to come back, and that helped me find the trailhead. The only thing marking it here are these two fence posts. So if you're coming out here, just pay attention. Uh, I'd highly advise that you have some app on your phone that shows you where the trail is. I'm told that this trail is uh, difficult to follow. No signage, just Karens. So, here we go! Probably about a third of the way to the top. It's pretty steep. Working up a good lather here. Taking off some layers. Enjoying the sights. Catch my breath, and then keep on moving. Making my way up. They say that the middle part of the trail is the most difficult, and I think that's what I'm in right now. It's kind of glad I don't have hiking poles. A lot of uh, really steep rock, both solid rock and loose rock. Got my hand a little bit here. I'll give, you a, I'll give you a look at what the trail looks like. So it just comes up through here. Very steep. Sometimes it's difficult to figure out where the trail are, is, just for short spurts. Some of those Karens help out, but you can tell, you know, people have taken multiple ways to get up around some of these rocks. Whew, came to a nice little flat spot here. I read the comments on all trails and sounds like there's two or three false summits. Looks like I go back down here. I'm thinking I go back up there. I don't know, I might go up that way. But, all right, 
I wanted to show you how difficult that hiking was, but I kept on slipping and almost dropped my water bottle, which I would have had to go down about 50 feet to get it. So, all right. So here's where the navigation is a little difficult. Trail kind of comes up to here. I'm thinking the trail goes along through here and up that way. We'll see. I just want to show you the value of Gaia. So I came around that way that I was talking about and then I was debating whether I should go up through here. And it almost looks like on that rock right there, there might be Karens, which people leave uh, to navigate the trail. But I just opened up Gaia. I'll show you on the screen here what it looked like. And it shows that I'm going away from the trail. So, if I go back that way, I'll be near the trail. I'll reference Gaia again and hopefully I'll see a footpath. Found the footpath again. This is a lot better. This trail is pretty much up the whole time without any, you know, little flat spots other than a couple of them here. Oh. Woo, buddy! <sighs> 2,047 feet. 2.1 mile hike, pretty much up the whole time. I'm at a total elevation of 4,859 feet. Metal stake here, geological marker. Just a beautiful view above the clouds. I'm gonna sit back, have a couple snacks, have a beverage, enjoy the view. So about 90% of the trail you can walk, but I'd say probably about 5-10% of it. Super steep rock like this where you're definitely climbing up and coming back down is even harder on that steep of a rock face and just being very careful, making sure you're, you have your three points of contact at all time. So, but... Going down gives you a whole new perspective. You know, this is this is the trail right here. But beyond that rugged, it's beautiful. Made it back down to the road. I don't think I took the trail for the last quarter mile, but I'm here. You can see it's starting to fog up a little up there. You know, they call this a trail. Uh, I would frame it more as a route. A lot of the trail is not much of a trail. Nonetheless, I thought it was great. It wasn't, you know, for only 4.3 miles, plus this three miles on the road here. Uh, it was a good good hike. Usually I like to go farther, but uh, I broke a sweat. It was fun. Now, 
I gotta try getting my borrowed SUV back out on this sketchy road. Hello friends, my final hike here in Arizona. I'm gonna be climbing up Camelback Mountain. It's about a 1300 foot climb. I'm going up on the Echo Valley side and coming down on the Chala side. So I'm starting on one side, finishing on the other. My wife and my aunt are gonna pick me up on the other side. It's about 3.30. Hoping to get some late day sun, as you can see behind me there. But uh, this trail is supposed to be extremely difficult. I don't think it's going to be as difficult as yesterday's, but it's pretty steep. Here we go. This is a very busy park. I am in the middle of Phoenix uh, in the suburbs. So it's a public park. Lots of people, but wow, look at this. This is just as steep as yesterday, but it's nice to have a handrail here. A lot of people here, though. Whoops. <laughs> she just dropped her phone. Good thing she has a good friend right here. <laughs> As you can see, there's a lot of tourists on this trail. <coughs> it's surprisingly difficult for a tourist type trail. They're going tour to speed. I'm in beast mode. <coughs> oh, look at that. A nice view. We ain't got time for views. We gotta get to the top. So I made it up the Echo Canyon side. I'm gonna go back down the Chala Trail. This side doesn't look quite as steep. It's a little bit farther, but it still looks rather rugged. I may go up in beast mode, but I go down in grandpa mode. So easy to trip and slip and fall. Just being real cautious. That helicopter flew over. My dad told me that there's a helipad right up here for this mountain. There's so many people to get hurt on it. 
or uh, you know from the heat or whatever but I believe it I can't believe how difficult and technical this trail is for a touristy type trail right in the heart of the city I saw that helicopter go through a uh, girl told me that you actually get fined if you're up here past sunset so that means the clock is ticking Midwest backpacker guy just learned a lesson I'm used to grabbing trees on the way down a hill it's not a good idea to grab one of these ouchie mama I'm almost done with the trail might be my final cactus of this trip thanks for coming along if you have three or four hours highly recommend the camelback trail that other side I'll show in this graphic is super steep on this side there's some steep spots but it's a lot uh, tamer not quite as steep as you can see I'm doing a lot of walking the other side was mostly climbing but you know, whether it be in a wash, whether it be going up that very isolated lookout and peak, or this populated city park, they're all good climbs here in Arizona. So I encourage you to come out here if you get a chance. You know, just six days from now, I am going to be camping, and it's gonna be about 50 degrees cooler than it is right now. No more shorts, no more short sleeve shirt, Buckle up, it's time for the Wisconsin frozen butt hang. Hey, if you'd like to see that video, go ahead and hit subscribe, punch that bell notification, they'll tell you when I put it out. Check me out on Instagram, check me out on Facebook. Whew. Hello, Phoenix. We'll see you on the trail.